Devs describe the game like a tough as nails fantasy roguelike. In fact, Rift Wizard is a challenging roguelike team based RPG with a deep open ended character building, essential graphic, and procedurally generated levels. Available from the 1st of September on Steam. Already released almost a year ago on Epic Games, the last chapter of the Total War saga finally comes also to Steam in this Midas edition with some new pleasing add-on. The first one is the introduction of some mythological creatures like the Vicious Cerberus, the Deadly Griffin and the Dreadful Hydra. New units like the legendary Arimus Boy and Shades from the Underworld. They will also be recruitable. While the existing one will receive some mythological redesign. But if you don't like this fantasy flavor, or if you simply ate dogs with too much heads, then you can still opt for the new historical mode that lets you play the game in a more authentic way. From the 2nd of September on Steam. The world wound. A cursed land that threatens all life. Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Well, I'm not sure if it's necessary to say something about this game. For sure, one of the most awaited game of 2021. This time, a new strategic layer is added to the CRPG mechanics, where we will be able to lead our army, strengthen our strongholds, send soldiers to explore ruins, and more. 24 classes to choose from, 6 archetypes per class, and 3 new races in addition to the 9 already present in the previous chapter. Pathfinder Wrath of the Rajas is available from the 2nd of September on Steam. It's neither a treasury of technologies nor a cemetery of the ancients. I am ready to explore the dome. We talk about another interesting CRPG, Encased, set in alternate years 1976, Encased lets the players explore an hostile area called the Dome. The sealed wasteland is packed with amazing technology but also deadly enemies. Players begins in one of the five disciplines like science, engineering, security, management or convict, which affect both their initial stats and specialization. As with all classic RPGs, the game is a mix of exploration, combat and quest interaction. We also had an interview with the devs a while ago. If you want, you can check the link inside the description. In case, it's available from the 7th of September on Steam. At last, you are ready. Good luck! and enjoy your adventure to the fullest in the Terrain of Magical Expertise. Terrain of Magical Expertise is a game about a game. Take on the role of a white art hacker in this non-linear story-driven RPG adventure featuring an original team-based combat system, hundreds of unique enemies and a full cast of voice actors. Do all it takes to win the campaign of champions. Terrain of Magical Expertise is expected to be released on 9th of September on Steam.
a turn-based post-apocalyptic role-playing game which continues the story of Atom RPG as a standalone sequel expansion and follows the traditions set by the classic CRPGs such as the early Fallout and Wasteland titles. A large city with its own lore and dozens of varying locations to fight, trade, talk and explore in, a hardcore team based experience, a unique character each with their own personality and robust branching dialogues, multiple solutions quests and the ability to transfer your hero from the previous game. Atom RPG Trudograd will leave the early access on the 13th of September on PC. The Lost King of Avalon is an ambitious team based roguelike RPG set in a medieval fantasy world. It is one of those games that promises a great freedom, here you can be whatever you want, a mighty warrior, a wise magician, a dreadful demon or even a celestial angel. 12 playable classes, 7 unique perks for each class, the possibility of gather a team of 4 brave adventures, an open world and a unique team based combat system. The Lost King of Avalon is expected on the 15th of September on Steam. Welcome to the world of Game Deck, where choices are plentiful and outcomes are many. <laughs> game Deck is a it's rather natural to compare this game with the well-known Disco Elysium. Both can be considered a typical team based RPG with a great emphasis on storytelling. Here you are a private detective and your job is to solve crimes inside virtual worlds. What decision will you make in a world where child slavery is a free to play game, where murder over a game clan dispute is an everyday reality? Who will you become in the 22 century? Game Deck is available from the 16th of September on Steam. And the choices are a After a bit of delay, the amazing American Circus is almost among us. Finally a game that tries to offer something different and original, at least in terms of setting. The Amazing American Circus is set during the Gilded Age and tells the story of a man, you, who decides to build his own circus empire. Obviously, in order to do so, you'll have to travel all around the USA, visit legendary places and meet real historical characters. The Amazing American Circus is expected for the 16th of September on Steam. A brutal survival management simulator set in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Keep your faction of survivors alive, maintain your shelter and scavenge the revenged world for resources. Befriend and trade with the factions you meet or conquer them by force. Sequel of the original game from 2015, the second chapter brings a deeper strategic gameplay, a new faction system, a brand new 3D graphic engine and a revisited combat system. Shelter 2 is expected from the 21st of September on Steam. It's hard to define a game like Lemnis Gate. Watching some videos of gameplay is almost impossible to consider it even a turn based game, but the description of the game is quite clear. Lemnis Gate is a time warping turn based multiplayer combat strategy FPS, over 5 alternating turns taking place in a 25 time loop. You are called to master the unique abilities of the varied cast of deep space operatives and outskills, outsmarts, and outmaneuver your opponent in mind bending 4 dimensional battle. Lemnis Gate is available from the 28th of September on Steam.
SGS Africa Cops Tunisia is a complete standalone game that covers the famous Tunisian campaign of November 1942 to June 1943. Old Tunisia as the Axis or expel your enemy from Africa and set the stage for the Allies' invasion of Sicily. SGS Africa Cops Tunisia is a PC game expected for the 28th of September on Steam. The demigods haven't chosen our fate. Our fate chose us. We are eight heroes appointed to protect the harmony of this world. During three years, we become our cannon's guardians and fight the noises. Even if in recent times we are witnessing an extraordinary evolution of a JRPG, but now and then someone still demonstrates a deep love for the more classic example of the gen and tries to develop something like Astria Sending. The game boss greet collaborators and its intent is quite clear, giving the Dunamur's fan a new great classic JRPG. That being said, Astro Sending is rather charming, it has a gorgeous art style, no random encounters with visible enemies, puzzles and dungeons. Astro Sending is expected from the 30th of September on PC and consoles. combat mechanics for the very first time. Rogue Lords is a rogue-like game where you play as the devil. You have to it's good to be bad. This could be the slogan of many recent games, and I have to admit that sometimes be evil can be quite satisfying. So Rogue Lords is a rogue-like RPG where you control the dark forces and use their evil powers to take revenge on the merciful demon hunter. Rogue Loads is expected on the 30th of September on PC. Aboard. If only I had some Blood Bowl to entertain myself. Rejoice, dear customers, as Cabal Vision offers you the complete Blood Bowl Championship. Sometimes during this overcrowded month, it will be released the third chapter of the award winning series Blood Bowl. Let's see together some of the, the main features. The game is based on the official rules of the latest edition of the board game with new skills and overall passing mechanics. 12 races to choose from, fields with special game rules to vary the types of match, new customization option for your coaches, cheerleaders, teams and every piece of armor worn by your players, a solo campaign open to all races and improved competitive mode with new league management features. Blood Bowl 3 is expected sometimes during September 2021 on PC and consoles. Have you ever wondered what lies underneath your feet? You can be skeptic, but below the streets you will find a medieval kingdom where rats, mice, moles, squirrels fight for um, justice. The first thing that can be noticed looking at the screenshot is the marvelous art style of the game, combined to the construction of a great imaginative world where the adventure of a bunch of misfit rodents will take place. Developed by a single talented person, Small Saga wants to represent an epic RPG of miniature proportions, heavily focused on telling a rich story of bravery and friendship with a light touch of humor. Small Saga is expected sometimes in September for PC. <laughs> 